I use the word consciousness to mean not being unconscious, and uh, and but I and so but I also then also use the word awareness, and there are various levels of awareness that uh, that animals have, and awareness is an individual thing. There can't be awareness of a group. Uh, there could be average awareness in a group. So if you look at if you look at a, a, a nest of ants, then those ants, each of those has a certain level of uh, of, of functioning, of awareness. Uh, it's probably hardly awareness in the case of ants, but if you look at a, a, a shoal of fish, then they certainly have a level of, a level of uh, each individual has a level of awareness, but you that would always talk about the awareness of the individual. However, there is also communication between the individuals, and that communication is not the same. It's, it's, not, it's not awareness, it's, it's, it's using the awareness of individuals. So I, but I, but I, then there is the sort of general religious question, which or general question which you could consider as religious is: Is there anything more than an individual? And I would say there is something more than an individual. Uh, that there is a, there is a, to some degree um, spirit linking individuals, and that spirit linking individuals is the fundamental aspect of of, of, of religions and of concepts of of, of concepts of. Of God, concepts of of, of uh, in individuals having um, being involved in something which is more than the individual. So, I mean, so that so I, I would say that there there are because of the way that societies are organised, and because of moral behaviour and so on, that there is something which links individuals, uh, but it's not awareness. It's something uh, outside the sort of minimal biological functioning. But that kind of that kind of link across individuals is something which I think is an important thing in in socially living animals as well.